only one man has won more Pro Beach Volleyball tournaments than Randy Stoklos. His former partner, Sinjin Smith. In his quest to break Smith's record, Stoklos has taken on a new partner, Brian Lewis. And this week in Chicago, Lewis and Stoklos have made themselves one of the teams to beat. Yesterday, they marched to the semifinals with three straight wins. Today in Chicago, can Stoklos and Lewis win together for the first time? One of the great cities in the world, Chicago. Weather today for Pro Beach Volleyball, cloudy, chilly, hot, windy, and of course, a chance of rain. In other words, typical Chicago weather for today's $150,000. Miller Light Chicago Open, and they are roaring. Happy Father's Day, everybody, and a special hello to all you mothers out there, too. This has been one wacky tournament, a tournament defined by upsets yesterday. The best team in the sport, the defining team, Karch Karai and Kent Steffes were upset by a struggling team, a team that came out of the qualifying bracket. Everybody thought they'd make it back, did they? Well, they came that close. Karch Karai losing the first round, then they win eight matches in a row before losing by two to Lewis and Stoklos. And just a few minutes ago, an exhausted, a depressed Karch Karai left center court knowing that he would not make it into the finals for only the third time all season long. They just couldn't get it done. And the guilty parties, Stoklos and that man, Brian Lewis, particularly with his jump serving. Lethal, this time up the middle. Stoklos just waiting. Bombs the ball for match point. Lewis and Stoklos in our finals. Meanwhile, the opposition, the basketball squad of Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd relaxing down by the seashore, but it's a team that has some question marks. Well, but part of those questions answered because of a nice three-hour rest. Mike Whitmarsh has had problems of cramping, heat prostration, but it is cooler here in Chicago, and that long rest will really help his team's chances in the finals. So the question, can Mike Whitmarsh last and win a championship final with Mike Dodd for the first time ever together. They've been together for a short time, but they have never won. Randy Stoklos, the second winningest player in the history of the sport with the headband, and his young partner, 25-year-old Brian Lewis. Lewis has only won one tournament in his career last year at Clearwater, and he's got a big opportunity today. One game to 15 or the expiration of the nine-minute clock. You got my ace! First Father's Day present for Brian Lewis to his daddy. Husband and wife right up the middle. One to nothing. Lewis and Stoklos. And Whitmarsh. Wearing the red outfit today, puts his first kill down. Mike Dodd will serve, a former basketball star, as was Mike Whitmarsh, both stars at San Diego schools, Dodd at San Diego State, Whitmarsh at USD. Blocked. Lewis, got it. The crowd factor, who does it help? They like the little man on Father's Day. They love Brian Lewis. During the uh, semifinals against Karai and Steffes, Ye were yelling for the spud web of Pro Beach Volleyball, Brian Lewis, and here getting saved by his partner, Randy Stoklos. One to nothing, Stoklos and Lewis. Now, two to nothing, Stoklos and Lewis. Once again, Whitmarsh and Dodd have not played in three hours, and it sometimes takes a little while for that team to warm back up. Well, I was surprised how late they came out on center court to get ready for this championship. I think they came out a little bit late. Whitmarsh taps it right on top of the line. Our first referee today is Greg Krause. Krause yesterday got a workout, earned his money. Yellow cards, ahoy, to Hovland. An argument with Whitmarsh. And Brian Lewis 
puts it away. And Lewis is six foot one, 185 pounds. He's been playing for just three years. A youngster on the tour at 25. He's done a lot of surfing in his career, but has only been interested in volleyball since 1984. Well, and unusually, never played in college. Randy's still close with the fist. That means he's taking the ball, Brian Lewis, to freelance defensively. Good line. Skokoros blocked. Setting mistake by Mike Dodd. The ball set too close to the net, and immediately Randy Stoklos has the advantage. You want to set the ball two, three feet off the net. Mike Whitmarsh is expecting that. This is six inches off the net, and the big Kong block from Randy Stoklos for the score. Three to nothing, Lewis and Stoklos. And Whitmarsh finally restores order with a side out down the line. Mike Dodd back to serve, 0-3. Mike Dodd to serve, he's 35 years old, second oldest player on tour. Stokos. Randy Stokos, the three-time most valuable player. Randy Stokos Said he needed a new partner. Besides Sinjin Smith, he wanted to win. Wanted to challenge Smith's record. Dick. Louis. Yes. Ryan Lewis bombing in transition, and right now everything going the way of Stoke Lose and Lewis. Each team gets two full timeouts, 40 four 20-second timeouts and a good timeout call here by Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh. How Trying much pressure is on Brian Lewis playing with Randy Stoklos? You know, Brian Lewis is an unusual guy. Never played college volleyball, came right from JC, junior college, community college, out under the pro tour. This is not a bashful human being. This guy is very, very cocky, very confident, and was looking forward to playing with Randy Stoklos. He knew one day it was going to happen, and he's enjoying it. Stokos and Lewis, very close friends. It's four to nothing. Stokos and Lewis lead. Stokos. Lewis, yes! Stokos and Lewis come out of the gate on jet stream. Five zip when we come back. Welcome back to the Miller Lite We're Chicago Open. Chris Moore and Paul Sunderland, Randy Stoklos in the white headband. No shirt. His partner, Brian Lewis, have jumped out five to nothing. Winning team splits $30,000 in this $150,000 tournament. Randy came out all decked in white from head to toe, and so far he's been playing like a saint. Everything going his way, along with his partner, Brian Lewis. Just out of bounds. Interestingly, Stoklos has not won a tournament since he dumped his partner, Sinjin Smith. Of course, neither has Sinjin Smith. Mike Whitmarsh to serve. Brian Lewis jumping high, putting it away. Brian Lewis comes from a very athletic family. His father, Brian, was a volleyball player. Interestingly, his father, Brian Sr., made two volleyball films, one of them, Beach Volleyball Coming of Age, released in 1975. Trying to save point. Lots of communication going on between the players. You hear the no one call, meaning no block up. Then it's the hitter's responsibility to somehow find the sand. Into the play, Randy Stokos jumping way into the cross court, swatting the ball down. Mike Whitmarsh late on the cover, cannot help his partner. So far, Stokos has been a man possessed. Seven to nothing. Out. And for Whitmarsh and Dodd, a stunning turn of events. They've got to restore some order right now. The best way to do it is for Mike Whitmarsh. 
Dodge big blocker up front to stuff a ball. Right to Dodge. Chance for a point. Whitmarsh are on the board. Dodd and Whitmarsh getting a break here. Brian Lewis continuing to play phenomenal defense. Digging in the angle. Dodd trying to go hard at Louie. Louie just not able to get up high enough. And Whitmarsh headed for cover. Good. Right there in one. More angle. Changing the call with Stoklos. Stoklos will set the ball, as will all the players out here, then look at the block, look at the defense, and immediately call out the open area and change it once, maybe Randy twice Stoklos if they have serving. to. Randy Stoklos, his father, a champion tennis player. Out! And Stoklos, his second ace. Eight to one now. Eight serving to one. Stokos is on fire right now. Well, so is Lewis. Everything that Randy doesn't block or serve up, up an ace, Brian Lewis is hammering or digging. So Randy Stoklos has his team off to a big start. A reminder that all the thrills and drama of NBA basketball continue on NBC Sports tonight in prime time, game six. Michael and Sir Charles once again. The Bulls are up, as you know, three to two. Be with us tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, for Game eight, seven, Six. Still close serving. His team ahead by seven. Make it eight. Nine to one, Stoklos and Lewis are leading. They are demolishing a team that was slightly favored coming into this one, Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd. Can Whitmarsh and Lewis come back? Stay with us, we'll be coming back to Chicago. Come in. Here at North Avenue Beach going on a house. Championship final action. Five. Lewis okay, and Stoklos okay. are dominating. Nine to one is our score. And Whitmarsh finally pounds one. Lewis and Whitmarsh and Dodd have taken off their shirts. Is that good or bad? Well. I don't know. I don't know if anything is good for them so far, but we have to remember, Chris, that Dodd and Whitmarsh beat this same team in the finals of the winner's bracket 15-11 earlier in the tournament, and that was because Mike Whitmarsh dominated at the net blocking. He's got to start asserting himself. Shot out of bounds by Brian Lewis. Now that makes it 9-2. to Stoklos and Lewis jumped out 7 to nothing. Whit Louis got a point. Here's Lewis. score a side out. Side out so Brian Lewis to put the ball in play. Second with Randy Stoklos in San Diego, second in Boulder, Colorado. They also have two bad finishes. They got a seventh last weekend in New Jersey and earlier a ninth in Cleveland. Yep. Bouncing it off the tape is Mike Todd. Good shot. Lucky shot. But that's what can get a rally started. And Mike Dodd is so experienced. Mike he knows Dodd, when you're down, you're not playing well, maybe pressing a little bit of major championship. You need some breaks. I think Dodd Whitmarsh came out tight. Cut inside. Brian Lewis gets another kill. So big Randy Stoklos to serve. Stoklos, uh, nine two. Of course, his longtime partner of 11 years, Sinjin Smith. This is only his fourth tournament with Lewis. Yeah, Angle. But well, Randy Stoklos, in spite of the fact that he won a tournament earlier this year with Sinjin Smith, just felt that he had to make the change. Sinjin Smith now 36. Whitmarsh. If he was going to make the move, he was going to make it this year. He felt that he and Sinjin could no longer beat the top group of teams, including Kartikurai, Sinjin Smith, and he had to get a younger partner. And that man was Brian Lewis. They're surfing buddies in the offseason. They have great rapport and chemistry together. And Lewis told me earlier in the year, I said, look, you talk to Stoklos, he says, yeah, the big dummy, when's he going to play with me? Well, it took 10 tournaments into the year. He was kidding, of course. Serving to two. Lewis, 25. His partner, Randy Stoklos, 32. 
Nine to two lead for Stokewell's Lewis. Ace again. Lewis whipping up another ace and still hey, going the point. deep and middle the into the court, two. the same area that caused Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes problems in their earlier match when uh, Stoklos and Lewis eliminated Kirai and Steffes. Plenty of time left for Whitmarsh and Dodd to come back, but they can't side out as of yet. Another stuff. Stoklos with his second. Hey, time is of no consequence here. This is fast break volleyball. I know it's not the Bulls and the Suns yet, but I'll tell you, Stoklos and Lewis are out on the break and jamming it. So full time out now taken by Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd. Dodd Whitmarsh, the basketball squad, and right now the ball is not going through the hoop for them. Stoklos and Lewis are dominating the Windy City. Ford Probe in Chicago. A great crowd on and one of the most recognizable faces ever, Sinjin Smith in the blue side out gear. The all-time winningest player in history. Sitting next to AVP President John Stevenson in white, an interested observer. Maybe hoping that Stoklos won't win this tournament. <laughs> Hopes he loses this big lead. Is there animosity there between Stoklos and Smith? Yeah, I think that's inevitable. I think Sinjin Smith was uh, was hurt yes. when Randy Stoklos dumped him. He felt that they could still compete, and Smith is still in wonderful shape and obviously capable of winning and still ever popular with the fans. Nice shot. Stoklos and Lewis came out of the box fast. They led seven to nothing. Randy Stoklos. Whitmarsh and Dodd got a point. Stokos and Lewis got a couple more to make it 9-1. Both teams exchange points. Now 11-2. And it's been done with serving and blocking. And part-time defense. Whitmarsh gets the kill. Plenty of time. Plenty of time left on the clock. Whitmarsh and Dodd, you can see they're just saying, come on, come on. They're struggling to find their game. And they had played so well throughout the weekend, but just not playing well at all now. Whit picking up. Jam. Lewis stuffs Whitmarsh, 6-1 on 6-7. Former partners jousting. Spud Webb in the face of Shaquille O'Neal. Right on the net. The big man should win this joust. This is just the push, the shove, and Brian Lewis, the little man, coming through. Lewis. Back to serve. Brian Lewis looking for his second win ever. When he won in Clearwater, he and his partner Pat Powers split $60,000. That was last year. And off Lewis. If there's one thing that Brian Lewis does not do as well as Sinjin Smith, it's defense. Well, he scrambles, and Brian Lewis is very quick, but that ball hit right to Brian Lewis. I don't care if it's 80 miles an hour. you got to control that ball. Sinjin Smith would have had that ball, and they would have been converting for points. Stoklos beans one. Okay, another key reason why Randy Stoklos went to Brian Lewis. Perfect example right there. Brian Lewis has one of the best sets of hands anywhere on the beach. He sets Randy Stoklos perfectly. He's a better setter than Sinjin Smith. Nice shot. Whitmarsh and Dodd are slowly playing better. They're siding out, getting possession. Question now, can they score? Well, they got to keep Stokos and Lewis out on the court for a while. They need to side out, keep retaining possession, and then block a few balls. Great call by Stokos. Line, line. No doubt as to who the coach is on the team of Stoklos and Lewis. The head coach, anyway. <laughs> Nine-point lead. Ed Engel, come on! Got it? Stoklos. Crunches it! And another point.
Brian Lewis trying to prove himself with his star-studded partner, Randy Stoklos. Three points away from their first victory ever together. And interestingly, Randy Stoklos has a lot to prove also. He has only won one out of 115 tournaments with a partner other than Sinjin Smith. He won his first tournament with Jim Mangus back in 81, but there have been some doubters that say, hey, can Stoklos win and be the driving force? Well, from that point on, he played exclusively with Sinjin Smith, save for a couple of injury tournaments. But uh, Randy Stoklos wants to establish that he too is one of the greatest players of all time on his own and has chosen Brian Lewis now to go after Sinjin Smith's record. If you're wondering, Sinjin Smith played with Dan Brabalovich in this tournament and they did not do well. Out of the money. 12 to 2, Lewis and Stoklos. No one. Whitmarsh with the hammer. And we have seen so much scrambling here. Double hit there and play is stopped. But for those of you who, who don't know, you got to appreciate this is the same size court that we see in the Olympic Games. And you're watching Brian Lewis out here playing defense, covering the entire court so successfully with his partner, Randy Stoklos. Under five minutes to play. Plenty of time. 12 to 2. Don Whitmarsh just have not done anything. Stoke close to serve. The volume of communication anyway, no problem with Stoke Close and Lewis. They never shut up. Right, right, right. There he has it. Can he put it away? Yes. Same size court as the Olympic Games. Only two player. Look at Brian Lewis stretched out. He's down. Now Stokos with the radar comes back, sets him for the crush for 13-2. So far, an unbelievable performance for Stokos and Lewis. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. Brian Lewis, two points away from victory over Mike Whitmarsh and Mike Dodd, who have never got started up. If you want to. There's no sand over there. Well, even when Brian Lewis is taking a shot right in the throat, he almost gives it for a scoring chance. Do you think Whitmarsh and Dodd just didn't get warmed up enough or maybe a little overconfident? I don't think overconfident. They have a lot of respect for Lewis and Stoke Close. They just did not come out mentally prepared for the thrashing and how hot Lewis and Stoke Close were. Lewis and Stoke Close have been perfect. Lewis and Stoke Close, of course, knocked Karch Karai and Kent Stevis out of this double elimination tournament. 36 teams started out over three days. A four team qualifier. One of those qualifying teams. Cardenas and Hanneman beat Karch and Kent yesterday. And that set up this unusual final. Stuckos with a dig. And Stuckos with the put away. Flawless. Stuckos and Lewis. One of the best performances of the summer. Lewis and Stokos. Demolition Derby on center court. Championship point coming up. But first, a full time out. Don and Whitmarsh trying to extend it. And of course, Paul, as we've seen on the AVP tour, you never know when one of the other players will fall down because of cramps or hurt himself. Well, there have been strategy. There have been some great comebacks. That man right there, Mike Dodd, along with longtime partner Tim Hoblin, the architects of a fabulous comeback earlier this season when they were behind 6-1 in a quick game to seven against Kirai and Steffes and beat them. But uh, you got to always keep playing. Stoklos could sprain his ankle on the next play and be unable to continue. Unlikely, however. Brian Lewis has been amazing from the service line. 14 to 2. And Louis will serve. Knows how Lewis clears his takeoff zone and Stokos patrolling, hungry at the net.
since I think a couple of years ago in Venice, California, when Brian Froff beat Stoklos and Smith 15 to one in a final. Could do no wrong. Whitmarsh and Dodd could do no right. 15 to two thrashing, Stoklos blocking and jump serving really set the tone early. And Brian Lewis was everywhere defensively. They beat Karch and Kent, knocked him out of the tournament. And they top it off with a big win in the championship over Dodd and Whitmarsh. Stoklos and Lewis, the champs here in Chicago.